And guys, today's video, we are uh, going to discuss some of the uh, ups and downs of living with a Filipina. And hopefully, I can stay out of trouble. And it might be something that you guys are interested in. Uh, like maybe somebody who was uh, thinking about getting into a relationship with a Filipina. Or is already in a relationship with a Filipina. And they want to see if... Uh, What's going on with them is normal. And you said, bye. <laughs> <laughs> what you, where are you going? <laughs> Silly. We have been in a five year long relationship and we have been living together now for a year here in the US. And we've had some uh, rocky patches and some really good patches. So this video is gonna be for you guys who are either thinking about dating a Filipino or marry a Filipino already in a relationship with a Filipino and want to see if there's any comparison between the two. What have you got there, love? It, beware of wife. Dog is friendly. That <laughs> is very, very true. And I'll explain that later in the video about right. Filipinas yeah. when they get angry. Please stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to discuss one of the most important things about being in a relationship with a Filipino. I had to learn the hard way, so maybe my advice in letting you in on this little secret can help you out. Watch so your remember, secret. Stay tuned. Oh, you'll find out. Stay tuned to the end, all right? Watch and I'll secret. let you in on this little secret. Huh? Well, I'm not going to tell you now. you got to watch the video. Mm. All right, dinner's over with, and we are ready to play question and answer. We had to feed the Filipina first because uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's a thing or, or what, what the deal is, but if you don't feed this Filipina, she gets angry and uh, no, <laughs> you don't no. want her, you don't want her, you don't want her angry. That's not true. She says it's not true, but you know I can tell. But I'm the one who's cooking. Yeah, she did all the cooking. One of the biggest issues that we have in this relationship is is communication, and we could really use some improvement when it comes to communication because I'll say something, she'll take it wrong, and she'll say something, and I'll take it wrong. And it's partly because she doesn't understand uh, my, my English and partly because I don't understand her English because it'll come off as being insultive sometimes and it's really not. It's just the way that they phrase things because they don't know all the slang issues and, yes. and, 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 and terms yeah. and they don't mean to be mean, but if if you're not careful, you can take it as, as being that way. And the next thing you know, you're like, why did you say that? And then and you're into a big discussion and you spend 20, 30 minutes trying to figure out what happened. Yeah. Um, but communication is key. And um, she's learning and I'm learning. It's, it's a, <clears throat> it's a two-way street. Um, but that is our biggest hurdle is our communication. And you would have thought that after four years of a long distance relationship and then living here in the house for a year, that things would have smoothed out. And, and, and they are for the most part, but our, our biggest uh, drawback is that communication. Uh, we have trouble giving, um, talking about day-to-day -day things because she's not used to the way that uh, the, the people talk over here. When she speaks English and up in, in when she was in China and when she was in uh, the Philippines, they all speak the same type of English. It's straight and to the point. See, like insultive, she would say something like, uh, um, Are you using your brain? It's like nothing. N don't mean anything. Which means nothing to her. Yeah, to us. But it makes 
if she, when she says that to you, you're like, what do you think I'm stupid? <laughs> I mean, of course I'm using my brain, <laughs> but to, to her, that means that's, that's just a, a common statement. So. Yeah. So it seems like an American like to, to say some words, uh, you know, some uh, words that like, you know, your expression. Yeah, yeah, we use words to e express the mood and so forth. They're just pretty yeah, much that's reading why it we off have of a, a script. The other mm -hmm. thing, the, the, the big cultural difference between the United States and the Philippines, it is a the big, big difference. And uh, we often struggle with this because she is very, very family oriented where us in the United States is is not like when when one of the family has a problem they all band together to work on the problem mm -hmm. well, I mean you would agree right yes I agree with that they send money back home they work uh, they they look after their brother and sisters and, and f uh, mother and father and mother and father and, and even our relatives if someone need for help we, we, we try to help we can. Yeah, it's a very helping uh, society. Not so much here in the U.S. No. One other thing that I've noticed with Filipinos is they are they are very focused on uh, their significant other. It's like um, I've had previous relationships to where you know they they could care less whether they help you or you know. And you, you, you almost end up wondering, why am I with this person? But Filipinas, the ones that I've had contact with, and especially my wife here, she is very attentive to all of my needs. If uh, I need something or if she thinks I need something, there's, there's no problem for her to mm -hmm. look after me and, and take care of whatever it is that, uh, that I need at the time and always willing to jump right in and help no matter what I'm doing. It could be something as simple as mowing the yard, washing the car, <laughs> uh, going out and doing something, uh, helping somebody. Uh, she, she's right there doing exactly whatever it is that I'm doing. If I'm digging a ditch, she's got a shovel out digging a ditch with me. Uh, I'm enjoying. Yeah, she's yeah. Not, not, not afraid of hard work at all. Yeah. And that's a plus. But in return, Filipinas expect your attention, your undivided attention. They don't want you uh, having other interests. Uh, they're very, you know, no, no flirting, no, no other interests with, with other women. And that can be said about most women, but I mean, it's very, I think they feel like they give you their time, they expect the same in return and um, it can come off like if um, she wants you to be focused on what what's going on like if you if you do something in the house that she doesn't agree with or schedule or schedule time, she, time she, they're, they're gonna let you know that hey this is not part of the plan um, they're very um, what do you call it I won't say strict, but very organized. Yeah. Um, they they like if you if you put a plan in place, <laughs> then they expect you to follow that plan. If you start jumping around and changing things, you're going to get a funny look from her, and she's yeah. going to go, "What are you doing? What? Why are we doing it this way? Why?" And you know, it's I guess mm -hmm. it's wanting to learn, wanting to be a part. A lot of times you'll play, I call it playing 20 questions <laughs> because I'll say something or I'll do something and it's, it's outside the norm of what we normally do or it's something that we haven't done before. And I, I'm probably going to be the same way when I get to the Philippines because I don't understand it's everything different. that, that, that yeah. happens there. Mm -hmm. So you have to be patient Asking. and answer a lot of questions. Yes. Uh, I didn't realize how much I actually have to explain myself 
For me to understand. For her to understand yeah. truly what I'm talking about. Yes. So it has been a great big learning curve yeah. for, for sure. us both. And it's not easy. Trust me, not easy. But it's very but it's, unique. But, it, but it's worth it. Yeah. Now, I told you at the beginning of this video that there was going to be something we were going to talk about that was very, very important. And I had a lot of trouble with this, and I still have not perfected it to this day. And I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's taught into the culture or if it's something genetic. I'm not sure what it is, but I do know that it will affect your relationship if you do not learn how to handle it. And it's called tampoo. Yes. Tampoo. Tampoo. Silent treatment. Silent treatment. <laughs> And if you do something wrong, your Filipino will shut down. <laughs> and you'll notice that, you know, they'll be all happy, happy-go-lucky, and all of a sudden, <clears throat> we're down here, we're not speaking, we're, we're not engaging, we're not having anything to do with you whatsoever. Yeah. We, and try, you have, we try to be busy. Yeah. yeah. Where, where most American women would be all over you telling you what you did wrong, the, the Filipino... Filipina will tell you nothing. Quiet. It's just quiet. I'm fine. <laughs> nothing wrong. I'm okay. And you know good and well that they're not. And it it and sometimes it is best just to leave it alone. Yeah. So Go do you like the Western tampu or the Filipino tampu? Now that I understand it a little bit better, I prefer the Filipino way <laughs> of, of shutting down versus somebody who gets in my face and causes a major blowout. But that also can happen with a Filipina mm. if you don't heed to this warning. And what I'm talking about when I say heed the warning, love on her, mm. try to comfort oh. her, hug her, uh, don't question, don't, don't sit there and go, what's wrong with you? That was my biggest thing, because yeah. I, would, I would notice that something was wrong, and I'd want to fix it. And his voice is like, it's like, for me, it's very loud, and it's like, feel like screaming. Yeah, and, 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 and then like, I would raise my voice because I was getting frustrated, mm -hmm. and what, what I found that if you just leave them alone, mm -hmm. let them go through their phase, and they'll be okay. They'll, they'll, they'll come to you and they'll tell you what's wrong. But if you, if you keep pushing that button, they will, they will turn around and let you have it just like <laughs> an, uh, somebody over here in, in America would. And you're not going to like it. The secret. What's the secret? The, the, if you push that button and you get them to the point where they vent at you, you're going to find one of the most hard-headedest individuals on the face of the planet. Because <laughs> I don't care if you draw them a picture of what you were doing or why they are wrong. They are not going to admit it. They are not going to, to, to agree with you yes. at all. All. We just need to keep quiet. You just, just let just quiet. let them keep quiet yeah. and get over it. It usually takes mm -hmm. less than thirty minutes to an we're, hour, and they're good. back they're back <laughs> to normal. But if you push that button and and push the envelope, you're gonna regret it <laughs> because they are some hard headed women. But the secret to make them happy is love on them, give them a little bit of attention. Buy them some flowers, <laughs> something something simple. Uh, my wife is not very uh, materialistic. She's very uh, easy to please. Uh, she does not like to spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, now I know true. there's there are some Filipinas that are all about being materialistic, and there are a lot of Filipinas that are not. So it's kind of like a, a give and take. But yes, because I worked so much before. Yeah, I wife. know uh, I know how to work for, for, for money, for living, and it's really hard. I worked in Hong Kong for many years, and, you know, it's not easy. 
No, and, so. and it's not. And she can't even work here right now because we're still waiting on her green card and her social security card. Mm -hmm. I'll have to say that living with a Filipina is 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 very unique. Scary. And well, <laughs> maybe sometimes, but. Uh, <laughs> She could probably say the same thing about living with America. No, we, we live here. together very, uh, it's like, sometimes we play together, you know, it's like, make well, joke, like, love the smile. Yeah, if you, like, mm -hmm. she does everything with me, mm. and that's what makes her happy. I mean, if I go to the store, she goes to the store. Yeah. Uh, we don't do anything apart. The only thing we do apart is when I'm at work, and mm. she has to be here. Uh, home. at home uh, but that's the only time every other time you see me you see her or see her you see me vice versa <laughs> but to all the couples that are out there if you'll just remember uh, a couple of key points communication uh, loving affection yes affection. they really love that honest honesty uh, and when t uh, Time poo, time poo shows its uh, 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 rears its ugly head. What? <laughs> don't get, don't panic. Just really ride nice. the wave. Yeah. No, it maybe, will eventually yeah. settle down and everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. But as far as our overall experience, I learn something new every day, and yeah. we still have, uh, we're still on our road of learning yes. each other. I'm always disgusting with him. Yeah, she's always discussing things explain. with me, asking questions, mm -hmm. explain this, explain mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Filipinas are not the uh, save all for everybody, but it is a unique relationship. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy my, my time with her. Yeah. Uh, we like best, to go some places. Best relationship I've ever had. I know she's going to be right there with me. Uh, no matter what is going on, she's got my back. So um, we're going to try not to. We're, we're, we're going to try to cut this uh, video here mm -hmm. at this point because I don't want it to be too long. Uh, it gets kind of long. Everybody gets bored. But uh, that's going to pretty much do it for this one. But I just want you to take those points that we made in here. It might save you a lot of trouble, a lot of heartache. Yeah. And please, if you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button. Yes. It greatly helps on our channel and drop us a comment. We would love to hear from you. Um, if you're in a relationship or you're thinking about getting into one, let us know. If you're already here in the United States and you're going through some of the same thing that we're going through as far as uh, uh, learning the two cultures together. I mean, mm -hmm. our ultimate goal is to move back to the Philippines. Yeah. But it's probably going to be a couple of years. We've got a few things we've got to get mm -hmm. straightened out and then we'll be back living in the Philippines, that's going to be our ultimate goal. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll put out more videos like this and, and delve into a few other different topics, some things that we've noticed different about the two cultures and some roadblocks you may run into that uh, you weren't prepared for. But thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit that like and subscribe and drop us a comment. And like always, we will see you on the... Next one. <laughs>